Let's talk about shoes and pedals. This is another contact point on your bicycle. You want to make sure that ahead of time you have gotten what you're going to get and what you're going to use and experimented with it and made sure that it's going to be comfortable for you. This is a typical road bike shoe. Look underneath, there's three holes there. That's where you put the cleat on. This cleat looks like this. Okay, you can sort of walk in these shoes, but not really. You're going to be walking a lot on freewheel. If you have a pair of road bike shoes, and that's what you want to use because they really are more comfortable on the, over the long haul, make sure you bring some flip-flops with you so you can take them off and use those when you're wanting to walk around town when you get wh wherever you're going. Uh, the other thing that you can get is uh, cycling sandals. A lot, a lot of people don't know that these exist. They do. They're comfortable. My wife uses these. People like them. Make sure you use sunscreen on your feet underneath so your feet don't get burned. These are, are going to have a use a mountain bike type cleat with two holes. And that looks like this. And it's recessed underneath. This plate comes off right here and this cleat goes on there like that. And then uh, you can walk in these shoes, walk all over town, get back on your bike, and go for it. This is a mountain bike shoe, same thing. It's going to have a little bit thicker tread on it. The same pleat goes on there. Breathable, nice, protects your foot. This is the kind of pedal it uses right there. Sometimes you can get some that have like a platform on one side and the cleat on the other. Those are handy if you're using your bike for dual purposes. Uh, a lot of people are just going to ride in their uh, tennis shoes. Not recommended, but if you do, make sure you use some sort of toe clip. This is called a clip. This is called clipless. Make sure you use some sort of a toe clip to hold your foot onto the pedal because if it rains, your pedal's going to get slick and going up a hill, you're going to wish you had something like that. Also, you can pull a little bit up and get a little bit more energy out of it. It's highly recommended that you use some sort of cycling shoe. You can increase your efficiency by a good 20% using one of these. It's well worth the money. Well, now we're talking even more about contact points, the comfort on your bicycle. And the two things that you <clears throat> want to take care of are, uh, of course, your rear end and your hands on your bicycle. Uh, <clears throat> one way you can do your hands is for, with gloves. Now, there's lots of different kinds of gloves. They all fit differently from brand to brand, and you just have to go in and try them on. It's not something that you can really buy online unless you know what you're buying. So go in the bike shop, buy from your local bike shop, try on the gloves. Now the way the gloves should fit is, they should be a little bit difficult to put on, and they should, um, when you, they shouldn't pull, make, pull your hand in like that. So you need to have the palm, when your hand's extended, it's, it, there's a little bit of room in there still. If, there's, if it pulls your hand in, that means they're a little bit too small and they're going to constrict your hand over time. So these are a little tight on me. I usually do, oh, I don't know, maybe a double XL in this brand. But for demonstration purposes, these have a little bit of pad in them, not too much. Uh, they're not leather. They're made out of synthetic leather, so you can wash them in the washing machine. Um, and they have a little bit of uh, terry cloth right here to wipe away sweat from your forehead or snot. You know, people use them for both. They may use different hands for each purpose, but you know, you want to uh, you want to look and see. And they're also made to be cool in the summertime. They've got that really nice fine mesh. That's a good pair of gloves. Mm -hmm. Something like that runs twenty five bucks. Mm -hmm. um, here's another glove. This has a little bit more padding. This has got gel padding inside of it. This is also a synthetic material. Um, I think this one's going to fit my hand a little bit better. Let's try it on. It's a double XL. Yeah, so it goes on fine, but doesn't come off easy. You almost have to turn them inside off sometimes to take them apart. And then it's got a little place where you hook, hook it on tight right there. It's not pulling my hand at all. It's got some padding right in there, right there, right there. Now, there's different kinds of gloves. Here's a 
Let's see, let's find a woman. Here's a women's glove that doesn't have, has a little, very little bit of padding. Sometimes you want to see what you like, either a lot or not very much. Uh, it's kind of like the princess and the pea, that if you, if there's a, something, a, if you have a problem going wrong, then the gel may or may not help it. It might be better to uh, uh, just wear a glove that doesn't have any padding in it. Okay, so let's talk about the back end of things a little while. First thing you should get, a pair of cycling shorts with pads inside of them. These are specific for men and women. You need to try them on and try them out before you go ride because they're all going to fit differently. Some of them have more padding than others. Um, I like them with very little padding. Uh, these are nice and cool. They're really breathable. They wash, wash and will dry overnight. These all cycling clothes you want to cold water wash, drip dry. No underwear. And no, and no underwear underneath. Now the thing that you might want to wear underneath a pair of cycling shorts would be some, some lubricant. This is the most famous, called chamois butter. It's a real thick, kind of creamy stuff that goes on, on right on your skin where you need it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a uh, friction. Uh, you uh, just kind of wipe this on, and it keeps uh, you know the cloth of the of your cycling short from rubbing you the wrong way. Here's a economy size type um, butter and then here's another one this one has a this is an embrocation cream so this one's not really chamois butter right here you don't want to put this on your butt because it will burn it's My got, bad. The, I grabbed the it's wrong got pepper one. stuff Matt Alchemy <laughs> yeah, makes okay. a chamois butter also uh -huh. yeah so this is not chamois butter right here whoops <laughs> Read the label, mm -hmm. Carolyn. So there's lots of different brands. Try them out. See which one you like yeah. the best. Lots of trial and error. Mm-hmm.